what's going on guys it's been a while i know i know we took a week off from reactions on the channel took a week off from reactions hope you guys didn't mind at all i uh, thank you guys so much for being patient as always but today we're getting back into the thick of things so westworld um, very interesting series as we've seen so far four episodes in um, very interesting series man I'm looking forward to seeing more of it um, I'm not gonna waste too much time on the intro here um, you know these robots <laughs> as I like to call them um, they are figuring things out you know what I'm saying they are realizing that they're not real you know and then we have the master behind the, the um behind the curtains that have created them as such has this new project this new storyline that he's working on for the park so we'll get to see what how that progresses um and as we go along we're uh, of course things will start to come back to me um because as I said, a lot of times when I take breaks from shows, um, especially when I'm not reacting to them consistently, I might, I don't forget details, but I forget names. That, I, I don't forget details, like I'm super bad with names. Um, I used to be very good with names, like, but <laughs> I don't know. I guess as you get older, some things just slip by you um, more often than you would want it to. But in any case, guys, we're going to jump in, watch some Westworld, and we'll see um, how things go. But anyways, let's do this. Um, I will see you guys for the review. Alright, so that was episode 5 of Westworld Season 1, man. And now that I'm back and, you know, show has kind of, you know, kind of kind of refresh my memory a little bit about um, the names, especially. So we have Maeve, we got um, Mr. Ford himself. Uh, uh, we got, it's, it's not Eleanor, it's um, Dolores. Uh, got the, the the usual assholes i <laughs> just repurposed the dude and put him back in the lineup as you know seems like he's a part of the revolution um so i like where this is heading because we still don't know anything really it's just a matter there's so much mystery behind what is going on you don't really as i was saying like you 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 don't know there's no sides to choose at this point because you're still trying to figure out in my mind i'm still trying to figure out what is really going on like who is pulling the strings behind like what is the purpose behind certain characters and and why are they there um obviously you know what i'm saying from from a corporate standpoint and from a real world view right a lot of things are obscured it's like what really is going on in the real world at this moment like what is the time period how far into the future is this you know what i'm saying like that's one of the things that i never even really thought of you know what i'm saying is it 2000 and you know whenever this show came out was it was it like is this like in the future is this like 2050 or something like that like you know um as in the time period i don't think they've ever shown that on screen or anything like that i don't know when it is supposed to be so i think i, I just believe that arnold has something to do with what's going on and nothing is really being revealed to us nothing is really being revealed to us is it's just so much stuff that you can go around and just speculate it and be like okay Dolores is in a very particular situation. I don't know what's going on with her, but she's definitely being, I don't know, controlled in some way. She's definitely being fed a different kind of data than others. 
and so as we see Maeve wake up at the end of the episode like I wonder what this conversation is going to be you know what I'm saying like she doesn't have a weapon or anything to attack him and I think they're able to um I think this dude is just gonna sh sh um shit his pants during this conversation we also got a little bit of <laughs> thing with this this little this dude that was having sex with one of the hosts um so that's definitely something that we're <laughs> i don't even know i don't even know i'm gonna be honest to you guys um i'm not gonna tell you because i mean they seem so lifelike but could you really i mean there's so many people out here already having sex with you know sex dolls sex robots whatever the situation is it happens who's to say i would not necessarily put myself out of that category i'm not even gonna kid with you because the thing about it is that anything to spice up spice it up you might look at it and be like oh that's really you know sad or whatever go find yourself a real woman but in a situation like this you know what i'm saying like i would never like the sex dolls and you know sex robots and stuff like that i would never do that what i'm saying in the case of this i am not going to take myself out of that category because these things are they look so lifelike like they look more human than anything else like there's usually there's this off-putting thing about you know a sex robot or a sex doll because it's it's just not so lifelike you know what i'm saying they, even if they look like a real person there's always this eerie kind of look you know what i'm saying of how the thing comes off but in the case of this where they act like a human they look like a human they everything the skin feels like a human it's just everything about that the way how they communicate with you is so human like i wouldn't have i wouldn't necessarily put myself behind behind the moniker of i would have never indulged <laughs> you know what i'm saying so it's just for me when i look at it i'm just like I think if I went to a world like that, I would get down with the get down. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, um, so Dolores and her man's here. I mean, he's been pretty much, he worked hard to get to his, you know, executive vice president and whatever. And then, you know what I'm saying? For someone to be, you know, the, someone, the person that's above you, to be looking down on you because you know his family is the one that runs the comp you know they is their company it's his family they're the ones with the money and that whatever and he just so happens to marry into the family and for him to talk to him like that nah bro i'm putting your lights out fire me when i get out because at the end of the day if you're at the end of the day i'm gonna look at him like if your sister really does feel that way about me then nothing is going to happen. They're just going to know that you were being an asshole. I gave you an ass whooping. I don't give a damn. But if she does feel that way about me, then I'm out. I'm out. You know what I'm saying? And that's just how I feel about that situation. I would be out. Done. I'm out. You know what I'm saying? But I guess he just didn't have the balls to go through with it. Because when he think about the repercussions of or of his actions or the consequences of his actions you know if he does give a give this guy a beat down it wouldn't have been good for him so in any case he kissed dolores i mean he's there to indulge i mean it's a robot i mean it is what it is he might as well have cheated on his wife at this point um but here we go again with ford you know what i'm saying letting this guy, let, let him know. Yo, it's my game, homie. I run this. At the snap of a finger, I could. The thing about it is that at the snap of a finger, he could command one of these hosts to kill this dude. And don't even care. He literally has an army. He literally has an army that he can let loose on the world 
and people wouldn't even know that they're robots. Like, this is crazy, bro. So, even though our respect for for his intellect is brilliance, there's still this undertone of just fear for this fear of this dude. You know what I'm saying? Ah, man. This is an excellent series. I'm going to go watch episode 6. That will be on early access, but I hope you guys enjoy this when it comes out on Saturday, of course. Appreciate you guys as always, and I will catch you guys next time for some more Westworld. Peace out.